The word of the day today is Hitman. Every time I say the word Hitman, a 2000s metalcore band gets cancelled on Twitter for hate speech. So you remember that singer I talked about last week, right? The one that hired the Hitman to off his ex-wife, failed to do so because he hired a cop to do the job, spent four years in jail, got out, got his band back together, then all the band members left one by one just to get replaced one by one, and then all of those band members left? Remember that? Well, that was Tim Lambesis of the band As I Lay Dying. So now, As I Lay Dying members all have statements out there right now, and we're gonna get into the remaining information of this drama, but before we do, hey, hi, hello, my name is Dan Frampton, welcome to the video. If you comment within the first three hours of uploading, I will reply. I wanna see how nasty you can get. All right, my little space chupacabras, let's make some content. So basically, if you want all the information on this drama up until this point, I did do a whole other video on it, and I already did the speedrun of the situation at the top of this video. But two weeks ago, all the members of As I Lay Dying started to drop like flies all by quitting the band, starting with Ryan Neff. He put out a statement and then got so much backlash and hate from the community until his brothers started to quit with him. When Ken Susie put out his little statement over here, there was one line that kind of got everybody's attention, and it was this one right here. Unfortunately, my personal morals have been recently tested to a breaking point. So the bass player, the drummer, and one of the guitar players had left at that point, and Phil's Grosso was like, hang tight, I have a statement cooking. His statement came out as well. It reads as follows. Thank you for your patience as I took the time to gather my thoughts before speaking on the current state of the As I Lay Dying situation. It's crazy. It's insane. With recent events, including the departure of band members and the cancellation of our European tour ahead of our new album, it's clear we're in a difficult and serious situation. Simply put, recent actions have shown that As I Lay Dying no longer offers a healthy or safe environment for anyone involved, whether creatively, personally, or professionally. Wow, that's a loaded sentence. That's right in line with the whole morals thing. No longer offers a healthy or safe environment for anyone involved. Okay, jumping back in. After witnessing some concerning patterns of behavior, I realized I could no longer, in good conscience, enable further actions that could negatively affect anyone working within this space. For these reasons, I feel it's in my best interest to completely distance myself both creatively and personally from As I Lay Dying. I also want to share my full support for Ryan, Ken, and Nick, who made the choice to step away recently. I'm grateful for their accomplishments and friendship over the last three years. With 21 years that I have dedicated to this band, it does not sit well with me to leave or abandon what I've considered to be my life's work. I don't feel that I or others should be forced out like so many have in the past. Wow, now we're getting a lot more context in that paragraph right here than anybody else's statement so far. Everything has been so vague and non-emotional, just like, hey, you know what, my morals are in question and maybe it's time for me to leave. No, now Phil's gross. I was like, I am leaving my life's work behind. You guys have to know how serious this is because what I consider my life's work, everything that I've created, my world of passion, is now left over here with a guy that is testing people's morals, okay? Do you understand how fucked up that is and how bad that feels? That's what I'm getting from that paragraph. And no, I don't understand how bad that is and how awful you must feel. It must be atrocious. That's crazy. Because Phil's Grosso would have saw all the band members leave the first time, then get replaced, and then all leave the second time, and he would have just stuck around because it's his life's work. Man, I really feel for this guy. Jumping back in here. After all that's been put into this, I believe that with the right adjustments and reconstruction, our music can continue to thrive and explore new possibilities in a healthier environment. That sounds like cope, to be honest. They're like, oh, I'm leaving all my work behind, but I believe we can get it back. I don't know if that's true. Let's continue. Over time, As I Lay Dying has been held back by dysfunction, and I feel that it is no longer my responsibility to bear that burden. Thank you to everyone who has shown support to me and the music of As I Lay Dying. I'm looking forward to putting my energy and creativity into something new, more positive ventures in the near future. Phil's Grosso. So yeah, that's a mouthful and a lot to digest, of course. And not long after this statement hit the internet, the one that we were all waiting for, the one from Tim Lambesis, finally hit the internet 
yesterday. Here's his post. Statement. Isn't that great? Now, I have a lot of expectations in this statement. I need to know about the morals that have been questioned. I need to know why you're losing all your band members one at a time, two times in a row. I need to know about this unhealthy environment. So, Tim Lambesis, what do you got for me? Let's see. Hi, everyone. I needed some time to process all that has happened recently with As I Lay Dying. As I reflect, I certainly agree that there was an unhealthy environment that made leaving for our new tour with the previous lineup unrealistic. It became difficult to figure out even the smallest details, and I admit I can stick strong to my vision and the future of As I Lie Dying even when others think it should go another direction. Okay. That is a very interesting opening statement. Acknowledging the unhealthy environment, not really going into too much detail about what makes it unhealthy, but then detailing how that you're really hard to work with. Okay, got it. A band is like a collaborative process, and you seem to be kind of mean to people when they kind of push back on your creative decisions. But something tells me that that's not a moral decision. This is a creative decision, and people's morals have been tested to their limit, remember? I don't think arguing about if you're going to put a bridge in a song after a chorus, after a solo, constitutes as a moral dispute. Okay, back in. What else do you got, Tim? It saddens me to think about the behaviors, communication, and the patterns of interaction that led up to our tour cancellation. Phil and I no longer saw eye to eye personally, creatively, or financially. Discussions during this time prompted his decision to depart first, with each of the touring members deciding to leave shortly after, as they were not interested in going on without him. Unfortunately, that wasn't the order in which everything was made public, as some statements were rushed out during a chaotic time in response to rumors. None of that has to do with anything, Tim. That's all deflection and smoke and mirrors. Nobody cares about the order in which they actually got mad at you and the order in which the statements actually came out. That's ripped, brother. Back in. I fully support each of the guy's decisions to leave and believe at this time it's best for everyone. With that being said, my door will always remain open to discussing anything directly as I believe closing communication leads to many assumptions and problems on its own. What? That's a lot of nothing. That is absolutely nothing. There is no accountability, there is no information, there is no nothing in any of these sentences. So this last paragraph is going to have all the juicy details, right? Now, regarding what's next, okay, I guess not. As They Lay Dying was founded on persistence and determination. Okay, I guess not times a million. For anyone who is familiar with the foundational years from 2000 to 2004, you know that more than 20 people, whom I'm incredibly grateful for, have come and gone to help bring to life this vision I've had in my head since I was 19 years old. Why are you just out here admitting to be the hardest person to work with ever? Hey, everybody that I've ever worked with leaves in a rush. I don't understand why. I'm really grateful for them, but they all leave, huh? What's going on? This as I lay dying situation is literally insane and is worse than you thought. The new record's still going to be released on November 15th and He's very proud of it. That's an insane statement. That's the worst statement of the year, and we've had some stinkers. This is the same guy that tried to hire a hitman to off his wife, but didn't actually succeed in it, failed miserably, I might add, because he hired a cop to do the job, and every single person in his life seems to just leave one by one during every era of his life. Then he's like, oh, remember back in the year 2000? I was toxic back then too, and no matter how many people leave, I stay here and I'm gonna keep doing this stuff. Man, that is so bullheaded. Paint Dog comes in and says, Not an ounce of personal accountability taken. Ah, I'd have to agree with that. The Latin Mike says, Well, that's that. This is the shitty statement that makes this look even worse. Yep, couldn't agree anymore. <laughs> Tim Lambesis is as I lay dying. The true ones will support you, bro. Yeah, the true ones. The guy that hired the hitman. Ex-wife situation? Alright, whatever, bro. Enjoy your hero. So I guess that's that. As They Lay Dying is gonna put out new music with all the members that are no longer in the band, but they're gonna be on the record, and Tim is just gonna keep on keeping on, I guess. He's gonna find new players, they're gonna learn the songs, they're gonna go out on the road, and As They Lay Dying is fine. Nothing is wrong, everything's fine. That literally was the most pathetic statement of all time, and that's just my take. Munchie the Straight Edge Nutcracker's take is, he does doesn't understand what the big deal is. It's not like any of these band members were Tim's ex-wife. It's not like the hitman was coming after them to begin with. What are they crying about? I don't agree with that. That's the word of a three-foot-tall, hollow plastic nutcracker.
Cracker. Oh boy, gang, uh, the last five uploads on this channel have not been doing well. I mean, some of the last videos flopped harder than Pyro Cynical in a furry Discord server. So, as a part of some crisis management, I need to create a new gang. We have three hour gang, we have end gang, and now introducing share gang. All applications are accepted. All you gotta do is share this video on your social platforms, that's fine. Plaster this all over Reddit, r slash punk, r slash metalcore, r slash hardcore, doesn't matter. Get this all out there. Dust off some Facebook groups if you have to for Christ's sake. I'm desperate. We need to get some new names in chat. Share Gang is a platinum level faction that I will show extreme bias and favoritism towards. If you share the video, Munchie might even say something nice. But that's it for me right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Until my next upload, watch another upload. Okay, see you later and have a good one.